<laughs> oh my god. Frost Glacier, thank you for the two bits. Uh, but holy shit, you scared the crap out of me. I'm here minding my own business, about to reach for my water, and all, uh, like, it's like mellow, it's quiet, I have the nice calming music, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, and I'm like, holy fucking shit, because it's so loud in my ear. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing good, Frost Glacier. I'm still setting up, guys, so give me a few more moments to finish setting up, but I just wanted to say thank you for the bits. Uh, DJ, welcome in. <laughs> All right, guys, I figure I might as well want to get started. I'm basically set up now. Um, number one, switch to just chatting. So, hello, guys, welcome in. Um, I'm looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. Um, so, welcome in. Uh, for those of you come, uh, who are new, uh, I am Jack the Tiger. This And this is going to be one of the first, if not many, Japanese lessons that I would like to do. Um, as I heads up, I, um, I am planning on doing, uh, putting these onto YouTube. And if you look at, like, if I go to my BRB screen, for a moment, like, uh, if you see my YouTube channel, the Tiger Sensei, you'll just have to search that up and you should be able to find me. Um, but yeah, I, I do plan and I do intend on recording these lessons and, uh, having them available for people who, like, jump in later on in the, um, uh, in the Japanese learning stuff. So, DJ, welcome in. Frost Glacier, welcome in. Um, I know there's some of you that are lurking. Thank you guys for coming in. 
but uh, this will be the beginning. Now, as, as a quick disclaimer, uh, in order to... Hey, Jay Cooper, welcome in. <laughs> uh, for those of you that do want to follow along with the lessons, I do, uh, it's, if there's one thing you must do, it is to, you, you have to join the Discord. It's the easiest way for me to communicate and share information with you guys. Um, and as you can see, my Discord is on the screen, and as soon as you pop in, you will be forced into the rules channel. Um, uh, just like, if you agree with the rules, uh, make sure you click the, the heart icon to agree the message, and it will unlock all the channels for you you will not have access to the Japanese channels yet. Uh, the reason why I did this is so that uh, other people in my Discord who don't want this information don't have to get spammed if people have questions. So if you go to Role Selector, um, if you'd like access to the Japanese lessons, just like, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, react, that's what it is. React with like Jack Sip, and it should open up those channels for you. I currently have only like uh, one, two, three, four areas in the Discord for you to use, um, which is, and I wanted to go over these. So, so like today's more of a, um, it's gonna be more of me explaining like what to expect from the Japanese lessons, uh, as well as like materials I strongly recommend you have. Uh, the biggest thing you see here is, especially on the general resources, I recommend the textbook, the Genki Japanese textbook. Uh, the th biggest thing I get, uh, biggest question I have, because the textbook is kind of pricey, uh, do you need the textbook? And the answer is no, you do not need the Japanese textbook. Uh, but if you do have it, it is very useful and uh, it will help you, um, it will definitely help you practice on your own. Uh, that being said, most of the other resources I will be providing myself. There is, uh, so like here's the textbook. I, I might as well like show you guys this. Um, here's the textbook right here, the Genki One Japanese textbook. Most of the things that I'll be teaching you guys will be based on this. I personally have the Kindle edition because I wanted it instantly. I wanted it on my iPad. You purchased this on May 11th. See, I, I got this a long time ago. Um, there is the paperback option, but because of, you know, the, the, the Rona and all that stuff, I did not want to chance a delivery. Uh, that being said, I will say this again. You do not need to buy the textbook. I, I just, I recommend it, but you do not need to. So again, you, you don't need to. This is where I'm usually like, class, can you repeat what I said? Do you need the textbook? And then I listen, I wait on Zoom for them to be like, no. <laughs> Uh, but like I, like I said, there are some valuable resources that come in, come in with the uh, Genki. Like there's audio practice. There's like, uh, in fact, I, I can like use like these as examples. I, I will be giving the vocabulary via Quizlet and all, but like the audio practice, the extra lessons, they're all in here and they are some things that you can do on your own time. Uh, again, you do not need them. Uh, I do recommend you have like two notebooks or something that you can write on. Uh, specifically, like, and I'll put this in the chat, like, one notebook for, um, one notebook for, like, grammar, notes, practice, and then the other one notebook for kana and kanji, because the kana and kanji part are going to be the hardest. <laughs> in fact, um, th like, the best way you can probably learn them is by just re repeatedly writing them over and over and over and over and over and over again, unfortunately. Um, as for reading, we're going to use online flashcards. It's going to be a lot, uh, a lot easier to practice that way. Um, as a, remem a reminder, this is just a beginning, an introduction to, um, to Japanese. So I'll, I'll only be focused on chapters one through six in the Genki book. Uh, I had some interest before for something a little more advanced, but uh, it's been a while since I last did a lesson. So uh, if there is more people interested in more advanced Japanese things, just let me know and I'll start uh, planning like the Japanese 2 stuff. Uh, but for those of you that are in the Discord, um, again, exclamation point Discord. Uh, th those of you that are in the Discord, um, everything we're gonna be talking about will be in the Japanese 1 resources. You can see, welcome to JPN 1 resources. Um, some background on me before I continue. I have I, I, I have taught the Genki textbook before in, in real per, in, in person. Uh, I used to be a high school Japanese teacher before I got laid off because you know school funding guys. 
I'm, I, I'm not bitter or anything. I'm extremely bitter. <laughs> so I do have experience in teaching Japanese, and hopefully, uh, especially using uh, Twitch, using a stream setting, uh, I can still I can still do well with that. I'm, I'm hoping that I can. Uh, but if I go into JPN1 resources, you'll see that here it says chapter 00 and chapter 01. Uh, I was initially planning and just posting uh, all the shit here. But I felt like I, I don't like, and maybe there's a way to do it, I just don't know yet. I don't like that Discord doesn't allow you to change font sizes or font colors. So instead, I'm going to be using like uh, just links to like a Google Doc. And it will be similar to like Jack the Tiger's Japanese lessons. Um, so as a reminder, like I said, uh, I'll be using the Genki 1 textbook. I'm using the third edition, and it's the most recent one. You do not need to have the third edition if you do plan on buying the textbook. In fact, I believe there are PDF copies of the first or second edition available online somewhere, either for reduced price or free. But don't quote me on that. Um, but like I said, I do recommend a textbook and two composition notebooks. Something that you could consider getting is something called a shitajiki. A shitajiki. And I'll put that in chat. Stajiki. I actually have one. I, 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 you don't need it, but it's if you want to feel even more Japanese, like you're, like you're learning in a Japanese classroom setting. Uh, a stajiki is here. It's basically a. Um, how do we say this? It's basically like a writing pad that you put under your paper to keep it so that your um, your pencil marks don't bleed into the next page. There are many types. Like you can get like nice like Sanrio cute ones. Uh, there's, uh, Kudatama. Oh my god, I forgot that thing existed. <laughs> um, I use a generic one like this with lines. Um, I prefer this one only because, especially when you start writing hiragana, katakana, or kanji, these box, you can see the boxes through your paper, and it allows you to keep, like, straight lines and, uh, keep proper, um, proper balance. And if I, any of my old Japanese students have come in, you probably hate that word. Like, where's the, where's the balance in your kanji? <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean about that later. Uh, but this is something extra, you don't like I said, you don't necessarily need it. But it is, it, it is something nice that you could, you could use. Uh, let me go back to the document. Hey, 39, 39 mil. Seems good. <laughs> I like that. The seems good emote. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to go on and start from here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually going to be Japanese greetings. So if you are, um, I don't know if anyone's using this document yet. Um, DJ, if you're still here, could you see if you can access this document? And let me know if it, uh, if it allows you to like click links and stuff. If not, I need to change some settings. DJ, are you still there? I have to wait like a few moments because of stream delay. <laughs> you can yet yeah, okay cool so you can see it so for those of you that are in my discord or are not in the discord yet again um exclamation point discord and you'll have to join the Genki Club by ro using Role Selector to access these files. So if you can see that, then that's good. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about are Japanese greetings. And some of you may be like, oh, well, I know some of these. But to be honest, these are very important. Oh, look, who's this? Who's this person? Anonymous Platypus. Hello, Anonymous Platypus. Welcome in. <laughs> now, greetings are very important in Japanese. And I'm actually going to use my... Um, what you might call it? My iPad to write these uh, greetings. So give me one moment as I prepare my iPad for um, display. Uh, I need to prepare for this anyway because I'll be drawing uh, Final Fantasy fan art or technically my own art, I guess. Uh, after this. Also, I'm waiting on like a spicy chicken sandwich because I really love it. Spicy chicken sandwich. Spicy chicken. <laughs> so, there, uh, Mina, Mina san, konnichiwa. Uh, San Diego de, ima, uh, goji happen da. So, ste, uh, konnichiwa skatte mo ii kana? Uh, so it's probably good after using Ohio. Or, konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Mm -mm 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 now, um, I'm going to say this, like, uh, this will be the only time I actually am going to link something directly into the, um, whatchamacallit. Hold on, I need to make a new folder. How do I make a new folder? Here we go. 
I will just call this Tiger Japanese. Zero one. That's a nine. Cool. There we go. Okay, so I have a new I have a new set of notes. All right. So if you are on this document, I see some anonymous beaver, anonymous ferret. <laughs> uh, you'll see that there's a worksheet. I'm gonna start with the greetings because this is like technically lesson zero zero. Uh, this will be one. Uh, let me know if you can see this because I know if you open this with Google Docs, it does some weird BS where it tries to like translate all of it, and you don't get the document. You get some like weird corruption of it, which is which I'm kind of confused why it does this because it's a picture. I it, like it, it was a picture thing. Anyway, um, here are the greetings. This will be like one of the only times I will be um, copying things from the textbook. Uh, because, well, you know, copyright issues. Um, I'm banking on, since this is for educational purpose, I'm banking on the fair use laws right now to, for, to allow me to use this. Uh, this is only an introduction. If you really like what you uh, see here, I like I said, I strongly recommend you use, you uh, either purchase the Genki textbook, either any edition, to be honest. It's a really good book. Uh, it is my favorite learning tool for Japanese. Uh, I, I, I just really like how it's structured. Um, you can use this as a resource, but I will be writing on my iPad and taking notes, and I'm not sure about drawing pictures yet, but we, we shall see. Um, you may notice also that everything's in hiragana. Uh, I, I, will <laughs> I will go over the what we need to do in regards to hiragana later. So that's going to be the worksheet for there. The other thing to pay attention to is phonetics in Japanese, such as the use of vowels. Uh, I'll talk about the vocabulary in a moment. Like I said, this is only going to be a brief introduction of the class and expectations and what I'm going to do. Um, so let me see if I can make this bigger. Uh, I frame black. I don't want it to show the frame. Here we go. Can I make this larger now? I... What's the point? <laughs> oh, I hate this thing. Okay, so let me minimize my Discord. Here we go. Minimize everything. I, sh I wish I had a better background. Oh, iPad's off iPad, come back. iPad, come back. Fuck! <laughs> Hold on. I got to reconnect it now. As you can also see, this is going to be a very casual classroom setting. I just cursed. <laughs> so for those of you joining, uh, coming in, if you don't have anything to write with yet, that's perfectly fine. You can watch this. <laughs> you can watch this again later. All right, so here we go. Here's Here's my iPad. And I'm going to, I'm going to, like, I'm going to put lines, because I prefer using lines and grids. Uh, now, you, for those of you with iPads and like to do this digitally, hold on, let me adjust my camera real quick, because I'm, like, moving all over the place. And like to do, you have the option of using, like, normal note paper lines. I'm going to start with this, but eventually when I start writing notes, if you would like to add them into your own journal or whatnot, um, we, we'll start probably using these to help with the Japanese, which is, I think this is really cool that this is included, so you can say things like, that's a highlighter, that's not, that's not a pencil. So you could say things like, I'm gonna start, it's like, oh, hi yo, DJ, like, oh hi yo DJ, good morning DJ, kind of thing. So eventually I'll be switching to this, you may have noticed I'm writing up to down, that's traditional Japanese. Uh, let me let me erase this because I my I have not written in Japanese in a while, so I feel like that my handwriting has gotten to shit. So I feel I feel kind of bad. <gasps> Wait, I can do this. Hold on, guys, watch this magic right now. Yes, it works. It fucking works. I can turn it to its side, and it takes up enough of the screen. This is perfect. Okay, I found my solution. I'm. I'm such a fucking teacher when, like, a small thing like this makes me so happy. <laughs> it's like when I finally get new textbooks and I'm like, yes, delicious, uh, delicious, delicious textbooks. <laughs> um, um, crap, lines and grids again. Uh, I want, uh, we're going to, we're going to use normal lines and grids for now. And, <laughs> dude, Pog, <laughs> um, I, we're just going to, I'm, I'm going to be very simple at the moment. We're just going to call this, like, lesson zero, zero. And I'm gonna try to use my best handwriting as I'm doing this. If my if, if face freak is like moving funny, it's because I'm looking down into the iPad. So like lesson zero zero, and I'm just gonna call this greetings. Greetings. 
in Japanese, of course, of course, in Japanese. And I like how it's titled itself this. I, I didn't realize that I, the iPad or Apple products pay attention to what you're typing. See, like, look at the very top. That's so cool. Again, teacher, teacher mode. God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so fucking lame. <laughs> hey, right, before, um, before we go any further, I do want to talk about the phonetics in Japanese. Um, the reason why I'm doing this first is because... I've been, like, when I was in college, there was always, I had this one classmate, and he had a very, very strong southern accent, and he, um, I don't know it's because if he didn't know, or if he just re utterly refused to do it, but he would not say Japanese words phonetically. It's like, instead of saying, watashi wa neko ga daisuki desu, like, I love cats, uh, he was like, watashi wa neko ga daisuki desu, and it just, it killed me on the inside. Like, each time I would hear him talk, I'm just like, stab my eyes and ears out right now, <laughs> kind of thing. So, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to talk about is the phonetics. Like, how it sounds. Like, how does Japanese sound? It's, it's basically like hearing, like, an Ameri like, a native English speaker try to speak, like, your uh, language if you speak something different. It's like, if I were to try to speak Spanish, I would be like, Hola, como te llamas? Or something like that. It's, it's, that's how obnoxious it kind of was. <laughs> Jeez, that's cringe. It is cringe. Like, like, having to sit in there every day was... It was pretty cringy for me, especially when he said China. Uh, China. He was like, Naka Kuni. And I'm like, you mean Chugoku? <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, uh, in Japanese, there are like, there are only. Japanese is very heavy on vowels, so I would like to say that in, in Japanese, the uh, vowel sounds are king. <laughs> that kind of Spanish. Oh my god, I want to cry. So I'm going to say, like, vowels in Japanese, that vowel. Va Vowel. It's, 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 it's an A, right? Vowel. I am an English teacher, by the way. I think it's an A. I'm, we're going to stick with it. So if I spelled it wrong, then we're going to hell. Uh, so vowels are king. And what I mean by are king is that everything will sound out a vowel. And the main vowels in Japanese are Ds. And, like, my, my normal, like, English speaks are like, why did you put, like, A, I, U, E, and O instead of A, E, I, O, U? Um, this is because this is how the Japanese alphabet is eventually written. And these are not pronounced as A, or I, or U, or E, or, well, actually, O is the only one that's pronounced correctly here. Um, for those of you that speak Spanish or know another language, you may find that the phonetics in Japanese are actually very easy. Because you're already doing them. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to, like, write how these should sound. So, like, for example, A in Japanese will always make the ah uh, sound like ah, uh, ah, uh, like ah, uh, my god. <laughs> my dog's seat coming in and out. So the A will always make the ah uh, sound. Like Anime. It's like some of us are like anime. No, not in Japanese. It'd be anime. Ah, anime. It kind of makes like an O ish sound, like ah, oh, like the og, but no. It is not ah. It is not ah, by the way. I, I don't even know how to write ah. What does. How do you even write ah? I don't even think it's that sound exists in Spanish. Like, is there a Spanish word that uses ah? Whatever. Anyway. Now, this is where most of my, like, in high school, most of my native uh, English speakers were like, why is, how, w this is where E, I, the I, is basically E. E. So, ah, uh, E. I'm like, ah. <laughs> but, not, but it's not ah, uh, it's ah. There's a, it's a different sound, and I like how the face rig is actually, like, flipping out, like, ah. Uh. <laughs> kind of thing but this like uh in the beginning especially my new japanese uh students they're always like why is i pronounced as e except if they speak spanish and they're like oh this makes sense <laughs> because the, uh, it's the same as in spanish uh the u in english the long vowel will be u but in japanese this is going to be u like 
ooh. Is that right? How do we say ooh? It'd be like two U's, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of like if you like eel in Japanese, like ooh, nagi, unagi. I'm actually going to change this. Uh, I don't like what I wrote. Because this sounds more like oh, uh, ooh. What's the best for that? The best I can say is like you, you, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, e in Japanese will be pronounced as eh. Like eh. Eh. A, E, U, eh. And I'll just quickly do the last one. The last one's pretty easy. Oh. Like, oh. A, E, U, eh, 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 oh. Now these sounds will be repeated over and over and over and over again in Japanese. The only thing that's different is that sometimes a consonant letter is put in front of these. So if, for example, I'm using a K, it's not gonna be like K, key, and so forth. Yeah, O is just O. <laughs> uh, but it'll basically be like Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko. Uh, G sounds would be Ga, Gi, Gu, Ge, Go. Uh, there are some differences in regards to like T sounds. Like, one of these is not like the other. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> okay. That, like, but there are some sounds that are a little off. Like, T would be ta, chi, su, te, to. S would be sa, shi, su, se, so. Uh, M, mami, mu, memo. Dari, ru, re, ro. Nani, nu, ne, no. Mami, mu, memo. Like, you can hear that those vowel sounds are always going to be there. Um, for whatever sounds, there are exceptions. I will let you guys know when we start doing those things. Oh, well, wow. 20 minutes in already. Cool. So th these are the phonetics in Japanese, and it's really important to uh, make sure that you stick with these. Like I said, like, it's, um, like... And I don't know, if, like Muse did this recently, and I don't know if he was joking or not, but he said, instead of, uh, for cat, he said, Nico, but it's actually Neko. <laughs> and I, I like caught him, I'm like, um, are you joking or are you serious? Kind of thing. <laughs> but Neko, Neko, Neko. Uh, it's kind of like how, like, good more, uh, hello in Japanese, some people are like, Konnichiwa, and uh, no, Konnichiwa. The I sound, the normal I sound doesn't exist. Uh, that's the phonetics. I'll go on and move on up. Uh, the, first, the next thing I'm going to talk about are the general greetings. So uh, we'll start with like um, when you meet people greetings. Like when you meet people. So like when you meet people. Uh, there are a few things that you can say. Uh, most of you are very... Uh, most of you understand, like, konnichiwa. Like, you've probably heard that several times. Uh, but I'm going to start with, like, uh, there are two ways to say good morning. So the first one I'm going to say is good morning. So, like, good morning. And there are two ways to say this. I'll, and I'll do, like, polite and uh, normal. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Japanese is an incredibly polite language. Uh, for those of you that are watch that do watch anime, the Japanese that you listen to tends to be very casual, ca very normal. But if you are in like a real life situation and you're talking to people you don't know, you you need you usually default to speaking politely uh, because it's very it's very. I don't know how, like, the, the culture is very specific, you, like, the, pol uh, like, where politeness and courtesies, uh, is what everyone expects from you, especially as a, a, an outsider. Um, they may be more lenient if you're visiting Japan and you're just, like, uh, you say something incorrectly. They will correct you, but most of the time they'll be like, oh, you're studying Japanese, go, jozu, jozu! Which, by the way, I hate that. It's like, you, you try to, you say one thing and they're like, most Japanese people are like, Jozu, which means good, amazing. And I'm like, but I didn't even say anything. <laughs> kind of. 
Uh, but the polite way of saying good morning in Japanese, does anyone know it actually? Before I go on, does anyone know? In chat, uh, you can type it in there. Does anyone know uh, the polite or normal way of saying good morning in Japanese? I'll give you a hint. It's, 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 it's kind of like the name of a state. Yep, ohayou gozaimasu, ohayou gozaimasu. Uh, I will be writing this in Romanji for now, uh, since some of you probably do not know uh, hiragana just yet. But the polite way of saying good morning is ohayou, and I'm actually going to put, I'm actually going to write the whole thing like this. Ohayou, then gozaimasu. So ohayou gozaimasu, you're buffering, it's okay if you're buffering. Ohayo gozaimasu. Uh, some of you may notice that, like, for Ohayo, I've added the U here. Um, the textbook will put y uh, an O O, and I utterly hate that. And the reason why I hate it is because when you start writing this in hiragana, it's not an O you're putting at the end. It's an actually it's actually the U. So I tend to use um, the the long vowel writing like this kind of thing. Yes, Ohayo. Um, so, for those of you at home, you can uh, try repeating after me. I can't hear you, obviously, because this is not a Zoom call, but like, Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. I'll say it slowly, too. Ohayou gozaimasu. And if I split it out to its, like, bare phonetic sounds, it'd be Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. And the normal way of saying uh, of saying good morning, like if you're just talking with friends, you can simply just say Ohayo. You can just simply uh, like if you see your friend, just Ohayo DJ, Ohayo J Cooper Gamer, Ohayo the uh, the uh, thirty nine mi. <laughs> Uh, generally, adding gozaimasu at the end just makes it more polite. There are other ways to do that, but this will just make a simpl simplified rule. If you hear gozaimasu, or if you add gozaimasu to the end, it, it just makes it polite. Uh, some of you may have also noticed that, like, the at the very end... Uh, hey, Master K, welcome in. At the very end, where I have... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I have su, S-U, but I'm not pronouncing that last u sound. So, ohayou gozaimasu, instead of ohayou gozaimasu. Uh, this is, like, I guess the best way I can, it's, there's a linguistics thing, uh, the best I can explain is, like, ease of articulation. Like, it's dropped, uh, it's just basically dropped out because it's a lot easier to say without it. Uh, there are some instances where some vow, uh, vowels are dropped also, like, uh, like, machimashita, like, machimashita. It's it just, like, it, it's a little easier. It's kind of like how in English we say, what's the matter, instead of what's the matter kind of thing. We like we we drop some sounds to make it easier for us to say. Uh the next thing good that's good morning and I, the next one would be like good afternoon or just a general hello. Good afternoon. Or a general hello. This one you may you guys may know. Keigo da yone? Yeah, it is, it, it is keigo. Uh, very polite Japanese. Uh, but most of you may know, good afternoon or hello. I like to say that this is good afternoon because it gives you a time reference of when to say this. In fact, I, I can still say it now until about like 6 o'clock. San Diego time. I'll give you a hint. Starts with a ko. Ends with a nichiwa. <laughs> I don't know how long the stream delay is for you guys, but... Good afternoon. Hello. This one will be konnichiwa. And like I said, I'm, I'm doing this in Romanji to make it easier for you guys to see, since uh, not all of you know how to read hiragana. So, like, uh, good afternoon. It's going to be ko... kon... nichi... And, um... This one, be careful with how I've written this, by the way. Like I said, I t I've written it this way because when you start writing this, 
or using this in hiragana. Uh, that last sound, the last one here, we pronounce it as like wa, but when you write this in hiragana, it, it actually uses a symbol for ha. So this is konnichiwa. 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 I'm gonna erase these. Hey, Tommy, welcome in. Oh no, I have a pet. Tommy has pet me. There we go. Yeah, Tommy, you're gonna be 30. You're gonna be just like me. You're gonna be like, we're gonna be crypt keepers together because we old. <laughs> Uh, but uh, be careful on how you say this, guys. Um, it's konnichiwa. Notice how, like, it's, so there are two... Oh, that's an eraser. There are two N's here for konnichiwa. Like, I'm, I'm kind of holding out when I say that. I'm not just saying konnichiwa, which, when you speak quickly, I guess it's acceptable. But it's like konnichiwa. You kind of hold... There are, like, two N's, uh, two N's there. You Basically, uh, when you have that double consonant... Uh, I told my students to kind of like choke on it, like you said, you get you get stuck on it, like konnichiwa, instead of saying konnichiwa. Uh, question is saying hua a more proper way of saying that, like konnichiwa. Um, I don't think so. Konnichiwa, just konnichiwa. That hua could be like an accent thing, though. Um, I mean, as a head, heads up, also, the way the Japanese I'm teaching is probably considered standard Japanese. Uh, I don't really know much of, say, like, kan uh, Osaka-ben or uh, Tohoku-ben. Like, I don't know the other dialects that well. Uh, but, again, like, the double consonants on the two ends, like, hold out on one of them. And it's not just konnichiwa, it's konnichiwa. And I, I, I'm doing it kind of quickly, so I'm not sure if you can hear. Can you hear that difference? Konnichiwa versus konnichiwa. Like, let me know if you can hear that difference. Konnichiwa is the correct way, not just konnichiwa. Uh, the last one would be good evening. Um, good evening. This is something I would be using very shortly, like in 30 minutes for me, because it's only 5.30. I, I tend to set this, uh, for around, like, 6 p.m. or whenever it's... In fact, I could probably use it now, because it's dark outside. Uh, but good evening will be konbanwa. 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 And just like before, I'm using the H-A, even though it's pronounced as wa. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. And for this lesson, I'm just focused on generic uh, greetings at the moment, guys. So, like, for me right now... Uh, there is a there is a small cultural thing also like in, in this setting uh, since I am the teacher um, because I'm a teacher and technically in a position higher than everyone I am teaching uh, I would be I, it's perfectly acceptable and probably expected for me to greet everyone in the morning with Ohio but since everyone else is learning under me they would it's considered culturally acceptable to say Ohio Gozaima since I am uh, uh, the one in uh, in this position who should be getting respect. So I could be like, DJ, ohio, but DJ would have to say, ohio gozaimasu, to show po that he's polite. This is something I had to really drill into my high school students because they kept saying, ohio, ohio. And it didn't really help that I was always very friendly with my kids kind of thing. So they treated me more like a friend, and I treated them kind of the same. Puppy, you, you, you come in and out, you lie down, and then you immediately want to leave. I don't, what do you want me to do? Go lay down. You're cute, but go lay down. <laughs> so we have uh, Ohio gozaimasu, or Ohio for good morning. Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And then good evening. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Now, I, I'm purposely calling it good evening and not good night because uh, most languages, most cultures, and even, especially in English, uh, when we say good night, someone's going to bed. We don't just like 
see friends at like the club and be like, hey, good night. No, we'd probably just say, hey, what's up? Now, I know that last word in good morning can be difficult to say, but it's like, ohayo gozaimasu. Like, my roommate, like, teases me, says, ohayo gozaimasu, and I'm like, no. No. <laughs> gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Uh, but those are generally greetings you say when you meet people. Um, the next one I'm gonna, I, I'm still, I'm gonna stick to this, like, when you meet people, and this is basically when you meet someone for the first time. And I'm gonna put this in red because this is actually very important. So meeting for the first time. And pay attention, this is only the first time. Uh, Cause after you've done this greeting, you don't need to do it again. Uh, but if you ever meet someone new, you are expected to use this greeting. And especially if, you're, like, if your friend is like, hey, this is my other friend, and you're just gre meeting each other. You still have to do this, and probably still have to start speaking polite to each other before you decide when to switch to, like, casual, friendly talk. Uh, but the first one is going to be, pleased to meet you. Like, we're still focusing on when you meet someone for the first time. So, pleased to meet you. And like I said, I'm putting most of these in red because these are pretty important. Uh, but when you meet someone, like I said, meet someone for the first time, you say, Haji me mashite. God, that looks so weird in Romanchi. I'm so used to writing this in uh, Kana. But, Haji me mashite. Uh, notice here the she. Hajimemashite. I'm kind of like blending the sh sound with that, so you're not hearing me say hajimemashite. I'm just like, like I said, blending it together. Hajimemashite. Hajimemashite. So give it a shot. Hajimemashite. I think my spicy chimkin is here. Uh, while you guys are writing this up your back. Spicy chimp, why eat my cousin? Wait, are you so if it's spice is spicy chimkin your cousin? I mean it's delicious. <laughs> so yes, uh when you meet someone for the first time, pleased to meet you. Hajime Uh usually after this you fill in like more information about you. Like blah 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 blah. Uh we'll go over that later. Uh because uh, I'm just going over the greeting, I'm not going over how the filling part just yet. We we need some grammar lessons before we can do that kind of thing. Uh, but probably the most important and one of the weirdest things in um, in Japanese that it, this the next part doesn't really translate well, uh, but um, loosely translated it's it's basically please be kind to me in our future encounters uh, this is the best way I could translate this into English uh, but please be kind to me in our future encounters yes Koei I'm bringing Japanese back pleased to meet you so hajimemashite watashi wa jack the tiger desu shigatsu ni sanju gosai ni narimasu so shite dozu yoroshiku onegai shimasu uh, the ending, the last thing you're going to say with the Japanese greeting, uh, it's loose. The best way I can translate it is cat. That's my food. No, my food. My 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 French fries. <laughs> uh, this is the best way I could translate it into English because there's no real good translation to this. Uh, but this will be dozo 
よろしくお願いしますいや、yeah, I did this I, I started this last summer then so,、uh, like I started I lost interest people lost in had lost interest but I'm trying to I'm trying to get back to it、uh, but yeah this is the best way I could translate this for you guys and there goes my straw But, like, like I said, like, this is the best way I could translate this. Like, there's no language really does this. Like, if you meet your, like, in English, I could say, like, hey, I'm gonna use DJ back for the second semester. <laughs> I could be like, hey, DJ, nice to meet you. I am Jack the Tiger. Please be kind to me when we meet again in the future. That's, like, in English, that's so weird. It, it just, it, like, you, you hear it and you're just like, ugh, that's why <laughs> kind of thing. But、uh, in Japanese, this is an expectation. You sh. Uh, when you meet someone for the first time, you should definitely, definitely always be doing this.、Uh, and to pronounce this is、um, Dozo Yoroshiku o n a g a i s h i m a s To make it easier, I like to do this sing songy with my high school kids. <laughs> I'll be kind. That's what he said. <laughs>、uh, but、uh, I, I like to help my students like, prepare d、uh, uh, to say this. I, like, I make it like a sing songy. So I'm like, Dozo Yoroshiku. お願いしますどうぞよろしくお願いします。And just like before, you know, like I said, hajime mashite, where I blend that sh sound instead of saying hajime mashite.、Uh, I'm doing the same thing here, and this happens a lot with sh.、Uh, uh, so I'm saying どうぞよろしく like that よろしく instead of saying どうぞよろしく it's, it's, it's kind of weird if you do it that way. どうぞよろしくお願いします。So, like, hold on, I mean, I could say, like, はじめまして。これです。I'm a tiger. どうぞよろしく。And look, it's right there. どうぞよろしくお願いいたします。Oh, they made it super polite in this translation. Uh, but for now, we'll stick with、uh, Dozo Yoroshiku o n e g a i s h i m a s Spicy chicken sandwich. I heard I'm a tiger. You did. t o r e d e s I'm a tiger. Also, while I'm teaching you guys, I am nomming on my dinner. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> Are there any questions so far with these introduction,、uh, uh, general greetings? Oh, oh, this is perfect. This, is, this actually gives me a nice opportunity to segue into something. Now, I'm assuming most of you have watched anime. So I'm going to do this part for meals. So for meals in anime. Ohio Jack Sensei, d o s e Rishon g a s h i m a s Bad Bad Bun, Hajime Maste. I feel like I'm. <laughs> no questions so far. <laughs> I feel like I'm listening to a misheard lyrics c o m p l e t You could be. <laughs>、uh, but for meals, some of you may recognize these already. But they're two greet technically greetings that you say before meals and after a meal. And actually, I'm about to eat, so、uh, I'm going to do this. Also, so before、uh, eating in Japan, it's,、um, it's very it usually, it, generally, it means thank you for the meal. And it doesn't matter if the person can hear you or not, it's just an act of、um, being polite, like you're showing respect for whoever made you the meal. But、um, before eating, most Japanese people will say, I ta da ki mas. Itadakimasu before eating. So, as I eat my. my Actually, I'm eating my, like, spice, my junior bacon cheeseburger first before I eat my spicy chimkin. But, like, I'm holding the burger. Like I'm, like, I'm holding it in front of me. You can't see because I'm not doing my live camera. But, like, I'm doing, like, communion or something. Holding it in front of me, like, those little white wafers that the priest always holds. And I'm like, Itadakimasu as I take a bite. <laughs> Uh, 
And for those of you that, like, like I said, if you watch anime, especially if you watch it subtitled, yeah, the U tends to be very silent. Uh, kind of like the, how I, especially in, like, she, like, shimas, uh, t can be silent sometimes as well. So, itadakimasu. Like, whenever I think of itadakimasu, I think of, like, I think of Goku from Dragon Ball about to, like, dig into a giant bowl of rice. Itadakimasu. And then, like, he, he just immediately goes crazy trying to eat it. <laughs> now, at the end of the meal, um, Itadakimasu is like, thank you for the meal. The last part is basically the same same thing. Like, thank you for treating me to this meal. And again, it doesn't matter if, some, if the person who made the food can hear you or not. It's a sign of respect. And the thing that you say after a meal is, Gochi sou sama deshita. Gochi sou sama deshita. Not Gochi's sou sama. <laughs> Gochi sou sama deshita. Uh, in very casual situations, you could probably get rid of the deshita. Just say, Gochi sou sama. But like when I finish my meal, I will more than like to say, Gochi sou sama deshita. See, I actually wish I could use, like, anime clips to show you guys these things. But I don't know if I would get, like, DMCA striked if I did that. I took Japanese for about four years in college. It's basically completely gone by now. I'm happy to see you doing these lessons. It's great to brush up with. Bad Bad Bun, thank you for the 500 bits. Every bit counts. I took... I miss college Japanese. I, I did Japanese in college also. Um, some sad info. I have not yet gone to Japan, though. Uh, it's I, I just never had the extra money for it. But Bad Bad Bun, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I really appreciate it. I have taught it for two years, like I said. Actually, that's a lie. I taught high school Japanese for two years, and I taught it in the elementary school level for another two years. Uh, let me tell you that teaching, uh, like, kindergartners Japanese is actually a lot easier than you think, because they like hearing you sing songs and playing with it, but it's actually fourth grade. Fourth grade are monsters. Fourth and fifth grade, they're monsters. Like, the fifth grader's like, hey, thanks for teaching us Japanese. What does baka mean? And I'm like, um, where did you learn that? And they're like, I don't know. And next thing you know, the entire lunchroom of fifth graders are calling the lunch ladies baka, and it's very insulting, and you're just like, I didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's fifth graders for you, by the way. <laughs> you, uh, you live in the middle of Idaho, so your Japanese had no chance. All, like the only reason my Japanese, I, I, I stick with my Japanese because I taught it or, or I teach it. My extent of learning is the two weeks of Duolingo I forgot about. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to finish my burger and I'll do like another few greetings. <laughs> um, the next one, no, there's like ketchup on my iPad. <laughs> Um, that's called the showing respect for the next part. Um, basically, like, for these, thank you. And I think most of you may under may know th how to say thank you in Japanese already. Um, just like with Ohio, there are two ways. You have the normal and then polite. Uh, if you know it, go on and type it in chat. In fact, um, Bad Bad Bun, you actually already used it. What is the normal way of saying thank you in Japanese? 
I mean, you could say Dolmo. That works, too. <laughs> um, they're, they're, I'm going to put this in quotes. Dolmo. Actually, hold on. Dolmo. With a U. Because you hold out this one. Dolmo. But uh, quite normally, it's just arigato. Now, like I said, like, it's arigato, not arigato. God, it's like arigato. It's like a Spanish cat name, Ar Ari. Arigato. Oh, God, I'm making myself cringe. Like, saying it that way makes me want to vomit. <laughs> it is a long vowel, so domo. So, like, domo arigato. Uh, just like with Ohio, we add, to make arigato polite, or arigato, uh, we just add gozaimasu to the end. So, arigato gozaimasu. So, arigato gozaimasu. To make uh, it polite. Um, generally, like with friends, you could say arigato or domo. <clears throat> but with like, like a teacher, someone, a stranger, you would say like arigato gozaimasu. You may have heard in anime, like, arigato gozaimashita. Um, there's a difference with how you use that kind of thing. And I will explain that once we get to past tense, or if we get to past tense. So that's thank you. Um... <laughs> Ar Arigato said, sounded so gross way I said it wrong. Yeah, but there are people that say it that way, DJ. There are there are people. It's just like like Arigato or grassy ass. <laughs> there are people that actually speak like that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um You're welcome. In fact, this is not this is not in um This is not listed in the textbook or in that uh, link that I sent you guys. Which, by the way, for everyone that is coming in that is new, uh, if you would like to uh, stick around and learn Japanese, I'm going to do... Hold on, I'm writing in Japanese. Uh, join the Discord and make sure you join in. Uh, you, you do role selector and get the... Uh, da, da, da. So that, that you become Genki Club to join the Japanese lessons. Uh, you're welcome in Japanese. There are two ways... Uh, bad, bad, man. What do you think? There are two ways. One is I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna label this the easy and the polite way. Easy and then polite. Dozo is hmm. Dozo is more like feel free, feel free, go on, go on and do it. It's okay. Uh, but for like you're welcome when like some someone does something for you, they're like arigato, and you're like. Uh, the easiest way to do it is simply um, ie. Ie. Um, in this case, like ie usually means no, but in this case, it basically means like no problem. Like arigato ie. Arigato, Mr. Oh, pff, God. Doitashi mashite. Uh, mashite. You're close. Do uh, but the polite way, uh, just like uh, Bad Bad Bun has put, Do itashi ma shi. And it's actually mashite. Doitashi mashite. That's a, that's a more polite way of saying you're welcome. If someone's like, Arigato, and you're like, Doitashi mashite. Like, you can be, like, very sundere about it, too. They're like, Arigato! And you're just like, Doitashimashite. <laughs> Doitashimashite. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I can't remember. Are there, like, two ways of saying, um... Yes, there are actually... In Spanish, I believe there are, like, two ways of saying, I'm sorry. Uh, in Japanese, there are... It's the same, but, uh... They're a little different. Like, you could say, um, lo siento or perdoname in, in Spanish, I believe. But in Japanese, I'm going to call this one more like, this is more like, excuse me.
Uh, this is more like, it's more saying like, excuse me, or like you're trying to get someone's attention. It, it, it can mean like, I'm sorry, but it, it's, it's more better to say that this means it's more of like an, an excuse me. Uh, this is going to be... Sumimasen? You're totally using Procreate for your notes. <laughs> I'm, I'm just using, because uh, your notebooks are packed. Oh, man. Uh, but this one, uh, excuse me, like, sumimasen. Sumimasen. You probably have heard this multiple times in anime again. Like, uh, this is more like an excuse me or, like, I'm sorry I did something like that. Like, like if someone um, steps on your foot, you're like, sumimasen. Like, I'm sorry, excuse me, I didn't mean to. So, like, sumimasen. Uh, this is more like, uh, I guess this is more like perdoname in, in, in Espanol, perdoname. Whereas I'm sorry, which my guildies like to say gomena sorry, uh, is gomena sai. So gomena sai. This is more a appropriate way of saying I'm sorry. Sumimasen reminds you of Food Wars. Uh, I, I apparently I need to watch Food Wars, and I blame Vince Wolf for it. I blame Vince for that. Like his, his crazy gifts of the Food Wars. I call them gifs, so I apologize. <laughs> Guys, I has fries. I gotta eat my fries too before they get all cold. Now I'm. So, there were very. I remember I said that Japanese is like very very polite. There are other ways to say I'm sorry in Japanese, and each of them shows a more, a, a higher degree of saying I'm sorry. Sumimasen. Yeah, it can be that way, uh, bad, bad. Like, sumimasen. But, like, if you're, like, if you're really sorry, you could be, like, Moshiwaki arimasen. I think there's another one, like, Kashiko gozaimasen, or something. There's, there's, like, very, very super formal ways of saying I'm sorry. I think I've got most of the important greetings done now. Chokugeki no Soma? So I taught you guys, thank you, you're welcome, excuse me, I'm sorry, meals, when greeting, and then those. Oh, shit. What, which ones am I missing? Let me see. Mm -hmm. So if I check the notes, the worksheet to study. Um, oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, so me. Oh, and then these are important too. Crap, there are so many greetings in Japanese. Now, remember when I said, uh, when you're going to bed, they this is when we would formally say goodnight. I'm, like, jumping colors all over the place. So, like, goodnight. And I don't even know how to say this in Spanish anymore. Like, when you go to bed, you're like, go to bed. So, goodnight in Japanese. Oh, yasumi nasai. Uh, in this one, you could probably, and I'm gonna put these in parentheses. Uh, like, you could, to say I'm sorry, you could always just say, go men, go men, I'm sorry. But adding the sai makes this more polite. Same with oyasumi, you could say oyasumi, or oyasumi na sai. Go men na sai. Oyasumi na sai. <laughs> And then I believe there are technically four more, and these are kind of important, so I'm gonna separate these. I'm gonna use my highlighter to separate these. Forgive the horrible southern accent. <laughs> no, that's 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 a highlighter, that's not a pencil.
Uh, the next ones I'm going to show you, there are two greetings for these, and the, uh, th there are two ways of saying this, and again, for those of you that watch anime have probably heard these. Uh, when leaving home, person leaving will say something, the person staying will say something to that person leaving. You may also see in some animes where someone who lives alone will still say this to nobody, but it's still like a, like, a, like I don't know if they're trying to be like sad and pitiful, or if it's just like a ha uh, uh, ha habit, habit at this point. Uh, but when the person who's leaving a home, they would say, itekimasu. I'm leaving, I'm, itekimasu, itekimasu. So like I'm going to school. See you later. Like gakko ni iku, ittekimasu. And the person who's staying home, usually like in this case, like it would be like a mother will tell their whoever's leaving, itterashai. So itte itterashai. Hold on, I spelled it wrong already. Itterashai. Here we go. There are a lot of there are a lot of sounds like itekimas, itterashai, itekimas, itterashai, kind of thing. Likewise, when someone is returning home, there are specific things you do have to say as well. I'm gonna say person greeting, as in like the person who's staying home and says like "welcome back" kind of thing. So the person who has just come back from wherever they've been, like maybe they were at school or maybe they were at work, uh, they will say "tadaima," "tadaima," and the person who st who has stayed home or who may still be home, uh, they will greet by saying "okayari." And of course, to make it polite, nasai. Okayari nasai. And this one's kind of like I actually had to practice saying this word because like the A and E sound is kind of weird to me. Like okayari, it's not okay, okari, or okeri, but okayari. It's coyote's Japanese lessons. Nihongo oshiete ageru yo. And this is where I'm going to have to stop the lessons, guys, uh, because I'm one hour. And hey, Coyotes, welcome in. Um, like I said, I will be posting these lessons onto YouTube for you guys to catch, uh, to watch them uh, later. Um, oh, you're, you're perfectly fine. I'm still going to be streaming, though, uh, because the next thing I'm going to be doing is art. I want to be drawing a few things very shortly. I do need to finish my dinner, too. Uh, but for review... Um, we, we went over some basic greetings for these. So like, uh, we talked about the phonetics in Japanese, how you have to pronounce them using the, uh, using the vowels like a, e, u, e, and o. Not a, i, u, e, o, it doesn't work that way. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, DJ, thank you guys. Uh, so remember like when you meet people, like in the morning you say, ohayo or ohayo gozaimasu. Uh, good afternoon, konnichiwa. Good evening. Like, it's actually dark now, so like, konbanwa. Uh, meeting someone for the first time. Hajimemashite. Followed by some filler things. Uh, and then uh, the la your ending phrase. You, ha you have to say this all the time. It's like, dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Uh, granted, I am being a little fast how I'm saying this. Like, dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Uh, for meals when you're eating, remember before, itadakimasu. Uh, after, gochisou sama deshita. Uh, and when showing respect, like saying thank you, you could say domo or arigato. To be more polite, arigato gozaimasu. Or you can actually put them all together. Domo arigato gozaimasu. You're welcome. Like, no problem. Ie. Or polite. Dou itashimashite. Excuse me. Sumimasen. I am sorry. Gomen. Or gomen nasai. Then good night. Oyasumi. Oyasumi nasai. 
And the last ones I did with you guys, when you're leaving home, the person leaving was like, Itekimasu! The person staying who sees you leave will say, Itterashai! And when you return home, uh, the person returning home will say, Tadaima! And the person greeting that, uh, whoever's coming back home will say, Okaeri nasai! Uh, Kaios, where did you learn Japanese? I actually learned it in college. I studied at uh, Florida State University uh, many, many years ago. Uh, there, I, like, I, I continued my Japanese learning, got my master's degree in uh, foreign and second language acquisition. Uh, I've taught Japanese at the high school level for two years, uh, and I've also taught Japanese at the elementary school level for two years. Uh, I prefer the high school one. It's a lot easier to teach high schoolers a, a different language, in my opinion. Uh, right now, I, I'm, I'm sadly not teaching it anymore. I'm teaching English as a second language instead. But I would very much, very much rather teach it again. I'm actually actively looking to teach Japanese. Um, for those of you just coming in, yes, woo, Florida! Florida, shuriku daigaku de nihongo wa benkyou shimashita. Demo, mai nichi nihongo wa benkyou shiteru ne. I'm like, all those things. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, for those of you who have just come in and would like to continue uh, watching or learning Japanese, please join the Discord, um, exclamation point Discord. Um, you can uh, go to that link. Please, uh, if you do want to learn, accept the rules uh, to, uh, for my Discord channel. And then uh, make sure you go to Role Selector and, sl and uh, what was it? Uh, react to the last comment with Jack Sip. So that uh, you can be given the Genki Club title to show that you're a Japanese learner. The reason why I'm doing that is because uh, my streamers or my general chat people, I don't want them to get spammed by Japanese comments or messages. Uh, to prepare for the next lesson, I think I'm going... Uh, it, it really depends on what my uh, schedule looks like. I, I do want to try to do this on Wednesday again for Japanese guys. Maybe for like an hour, an hour and a half again. Um, for Wednesday, uh, we're going to try Lesson 01, which is vocabulary. Uh, I'm going to go over like writing hiragana as well as the reading focus on hiragana. Uh, less Chapter 1 will have will ask you to like focus heavily on learning the hiragana. Uh, remember when I said that I want you... Darkle! Uh, remember when I said I wanted you guys to have like two notebooks, one for grammar and practice, and one for um, hiragana and kanji practice. Um, I've added a YouTube channel here or a youtube video to show you the stroke order this is this is not it what's going on here they look angry anyway anyway uh this will show you the correct stroke order as to how to write each of the hiragana symbols um i would normally do this in a lesson but it takes a lot of time to show correct stroke order so i feel like on your own time watch this youtube video from the uh chapter one lesson uh to show you how to write these correctly uh there's also the vocabulary. This one I do strongly, strongly recommend you study. I've put these in a Quizlet. So, like... No, thank you. There, there are, there are, there's a lot of words. And I, I, I apologize for this. I do expect this from my high schoolers also. But, like, try to learn as many of these words as you can. Uh, we'll be using these on Wednesday. So, like, we have daigaku, kouko, gakusei... Ignore, daigakusei, ryugakusei, sensei, nensei, senko, watashi, tomodachi, san, jin, ima, gozen, gogo, ji, han, nihon, amerika, go, sai, denwa, ban, bango, namae, nan, nani, ano, hai, so this, so this ka. Uh, that would be the thirty that uh, I put them in flashcards because you can do these on your phone. Uh, there are also additional vocabulary. It's optional, but they do help to know. Hey, Sparkly, welcome in. Konnichiwa, or at this point, for I would say konbanwa. Uh, here's another one. Igirisu for those of you that know. Igiri, England or Britain. Igirisu. Australia. These are in katakana, so be careful with these. Uh, Kankoku. Canada. Chugoku, Indo, Egypto, Philippine, Asia Kenkyu, Keizai, uh, Kogaku, Kogaku, is this like, yeah, sorry, like, Kogaku, Kokusai Kankei, Computer, Seiji, Seibutsu Gaku, Business, Bungaku, Lekishi, Isha, Kaisha In, Kangoshi, Kokose, Shufu, Daigaku Inse, Bengoshi, Okasa, Otosan, 
お姉さんお兄さん妹弟、uh, These are just extra vocabulary words I do recommend you guys、uh, look into.、Uh, like I said, you can find these in the chapter one.、Um, you'll see that there's no other notes added to this. That's because I haven't gone further in the lesson. And eventually, there will be more added to this page.、Um, again, that's all in Discord. So if you go to like the JPN1 resources here,、um, you'll find them here. Here and this document should work for everybody. Again,、um, Darkstar, not that you're.、Uh, uh, for those, again, if you guys would like to join the Discord,、uh, exclamation point Discord in the chat. And you can learn more about this. This is exciting! <laughs> kind of thing.、Um, I'm gonna take a quick break before I go into art, guys. So thank you guys for coming in.、Um, I will explain what I'm drawing in a moment next. Uh, bad Bad Bun, thank you again for the 500 bits. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For,、uh, no, you guys, thank you for coming in. I really appreciate you guys coming in.、Uh, this has actually been very motivating for me because, like, I really miss teaching Japanese and I want to do it again.、Uh, but anyway, let me finish my burger.、Uh, give me like five minutes or so, guys. I will be right back and then we'll, I'll, we'll do art stuff. <laughs> Oh, Darkstar, no worries. Like I said, I'm gonna try putting these onto 